Hey guys, it's Wraith, back with Undertale. Now, last time, we were nice and friendly, even though we're doing the opposite of what Toriel's been telling us, and to stay in that room all the way back there, but we're getting through all kinds of puzzles nicely, like a nice person. Mercifully. Kindly. Hello? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Anything here? Leave 7G in the web? No, I don't know. Leave 18G in the web. Do we have that much gold at all? We got 9G. Okay. Um, yeah. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Cool. <laughs> I honestly just kind of wanted to leave him some money because we're nice. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Commit food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders, of spiders. I got a donut made out of spiders. Okay. Ribbit, ribbit. Ah, uh, my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. <laughs> I didn't press X. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frog, three, three frogs in this room. <laughs> this is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. Actually, I didn't know that. <laughs> it's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Okay. Oh. Toriel? Hello. I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I have, I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Oh, so our inventory can fill up. And I guess she does know that we're wandering around. I don't know. There is just one switch. Smalls, or yeah, it's yellow, so it's fine. Uh, it seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. Heed the swarm. I'll talk to you. I don't care. Aw, I'm so sorry to hear that. Old small blurbs quietly. Actually, you know what? We can spare the Molt's Mall. B and Me is the best. Oh, it was with the wrong crowd. I get it. Doesn't have a care in the world. So now we can spare it. This is such a cool combat style. It's more fun to spare things, first of all. I guess we have to go down one of these just to find the switch, which is in that one. Okay, what's this? Vegetoid came out of the earth. Serving size one monster not monitored by the USDA. Farmed locally, very locally. Ah, food. <laughs> um, I don't want to eat it. Plants can't talk, dummy. But you're talking right now. I'm so good at these mini games. At your stomach, Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens, always. Oh. Okay, that was all we needed to do. Good, four gold. Radical. I kinda wanna talk to the ghost. There's another Vegetoid up there. Oh. Luke's drew near. Looks like Mike Wazowski crossed with Sully. <laughs> Luke's? Check. Don't pick on him. Easy money. 
Please don't pick on me. I, I don't know why I would. Finally, someone gets it. Oops is gazing at you. Oh. Five gold. Hey, ghosty. I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. <laughs> Silly little ghosty. I the Vegetoid to talk to in here, and I don't think there's anything down there. You pat your stomach, the Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Good. Howie. Smells like steamed carrots and peas. Cool. Four gold. Cool. Okay, so we gotta spare that one. I know we gonna spare that one. Ow. <laughs> I thought it just wanted a hug. You know? So on this one, probably nothing. Oh, no, there is something. You found a faded ribbon. Is that Toriel's? Maybe? Hmm. I don't think there was anything in this one, but, you know, yeah, there's nothing. Oh! I gotcha. You can- oh, I- <laughs> That was embarrassing. I'll be fine. Don't worry about little old Wraith. There's the switch. I'm gonna go on up, and we're free. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? It's a switch. Press it. Uh, not until I know what it does. The far door is an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Is press the blue switch. Thank you. Eat your greens. Cool. Act, uh, dinner. Pack your stomach. Healthy meal. Hate your greens, eat your greens. No. Haha. <laughs> Eight gold. Blue, 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 blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Nothing happened. How do you know? It, yes, nothing happened. Uh, as well. That one. Hmm. Blue switch. Presidium. Switch. I got you, Luke's. This game is so good. And this is only like the tutorial area, right? Now this must be the last final puzzle. You notice there was a blue switch behind the top pillar. Oh, thanks. Clicking sound. Great. If you can read this, press the red switch. It looks red to me. It's a switch, press it. Ooh, 
la la, just be yourself, you're easy when you're not mad, I like the little dance you did, goodbye, give me some gold. <laughs> Any signs in here? If you can read this, press the green switch. Oh. Boy. Vegetoids are the tough ones. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Each green's fresh morning taste. Got it. And we're good. Spare one of them just to make this a little bit easier. Thanks, Vegetoids. Uh, green. To switch, press it. Hear a clicking sound. I guess that was the green one. Although, that mechanic kind of bugs me, because it means that there will be places where we just can't see what we're doing. Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me, I saw a tutorial come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Why's that? Ooh, a sword. You found the toy knife. You equipped the toy knife. Gotcha, gotcha. And hopefully, I won't really need to use it, but. You got a deal. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Hey, I'm, I'm right here. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there, I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It, it was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I can't hide it any, lo any longer. Come, small one. I like her music a lot. Boy, time to save. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Save. Ah. Uh, what's that sign say up there? Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. Well, you have a nice time living here. Actually, butterscotch cinnamon sounds better than either of the two alone, because they balance each other out. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. <laughs> Here, I have another surprise for you. Hold on. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of... 20-something It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful, fearful of further humans attacked, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. <laughs> the ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Fire. Fire's burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. This is a perfect place. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. Oriole. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. What a nice smell. Too hot to eat, though. Stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. <laughs> they make gingerbread monsters? Cool. Can I look at this? Nope. What's that sideways book? Okay. I'm just gonna skip past this because we've already seen it. By mashing and Z, I can skip through things. Kinda wanna go downstairs. Uh, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Toriel, this is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Toriel! I'm a monster. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself at home. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. 
Room under renovations. Is there anyone in here? Just a regular old bucket of snails. <laughs> it's Toriel's diary. Read the circle passage. Yes, you read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. Uh, 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 uh. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Jesus. Toriel's a joke genius. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants you open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. I need to meet the people who wrote this game. I need to look it up. You peek inside, scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> hey, there's yellow flowers up there and red. these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes and a disparity of sizes. Oh, cool. The music changes. of butterscotch, butterscotch cinnamon pie. Hello. Toriel. Toriel. Oh, Toriel, like, tutorial. Ha, 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 ho. I think you should play upstairs instead. someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I like the face you made. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? I see where this is going. I have for a while, but like, I don't blame, like, She's being nice. Like, there are other monsters that just want to eat you, like, but she's just... She just wants company. She just wants friendly people. She taught us mercy, right? She can't be bad. I mean, she might just have issues, but, like... Toriel. 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 I like Toriel. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This? This is your home. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to exit the ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. I was just gonna say interesting. How to exit the ruins. I have to do something. Stay here. I mean, I know we gotta... We gotta progress and find our way home, you know? Says the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Toriel, I'm sorry. I don't really want to leave you, but like, I need to make progress in this game. Oh, we're going downstairs. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Nah, Toriel, come on. Come on, Toriel. Come on, Tutorial. Come on, Toriel. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? I understand, Toriel, but like, I can't live here forever. Go to your room. Nah. 
Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Toriel. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you were just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Mercy. Toriel bugs the way. You're a soft heart. That was best for you. Really not. Jeez. to go home, but but please go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Huh. 
<laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No. I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. Good. Good parent. Thank you, Toriel. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I, I understand, Toriel. Thank you for what you've done for me. Bye, my child. I love Toriel. <laughs> I want to see art of her already. Bye, Mama Monster. Heal me. Toriel, I need you to heal me. I have like four health. Toriel, I'm out of healing items. Toriel. sleep in that bed. Can I take more pie? Nope. Maybe I can just go sleep in my room? Mm, Toriel's gotta be in the room, right? Try and take a nap. See if it gives us our health back. Wraith, please. Wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. What the hell? Jesus. That was kind of spooky. All because of the sound. Is the color of this room a different color? Slightly? I don't know. Couldn't tell. But now it's time to go after we've healed. Even though it's probably a save, like, right through there. Whew. This has been quite the episode. Oh, we just entered a new place, because the purple is a different color now. And it's getting even lighter. And lighter. <coughs> Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> Bet you feel pretty great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? Survive. You'll die. And you'll die. And you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. You're the main antagonist. <laughs> Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Hmm, it's like you got a bow tie. And keep going. Undertale. We're done with the tutorial. Ah, oh, yeah. By Toby Fox. Thanks for watching, guys. Probably gonna be the end of the episode, because this is a really long and awesome episode. The game's already amped up so much, I love it. I will end the episode right here. We haven't saved yet, but I'm going to continue like recording right after this. So, if you like it, leave a like or comment. Love talking to you guys. If you're feeling generous, subscribe. You get all my videos, all that jazz. It's good for us all. See you in the next part, guys. Later.